Welcome to the overview of navigating charts. We will be covering the following topics. Understanding the chart display, changing the chart scale and range, zooming the chart, and using the crosshair. Charts can be broken down into two primary sections, the chart toolbar and the chart canvas. The chart toolbar sits at the top of the chart window and provides access to a wide range of chart settings and related properties windows. And the chart canvas includes the area in which all bars, drawing objects, and indicators are drawn on the chart, as well as the price and time axis. The instrument selector allows for quick switching of instruments on the chart. Similarly, the interval selector allows for the quick switching of intervals on the chart. A wide range of predefined intervals are available, and custom intervals can be added to the interval selector as well. The Chart Style selector allows you to apply different chart styles to the chart, such as the candlestick style, the line on close style, or the mountain style. Any custom chart styles created via NinjaScript or imported from third party sources will show in the Chart Style selector as well. The Drawing Tools menu contains a number of manual drawing tools, including several Fibonacci tools. The Zoom In and Zoom Out buttons allow you to expand a selected region of the chart or return to the normal view. The Crosshair Selector allows you to choose from among a variety of cursor types, including the Global Crosshair. The Data Box window will open the Data Box. The Chart Trader menu can be used to enable or disable the Chart Trader panel on a chart. The Data Series menu provides access to add or remove data series from the chart or change data series properties, such as days to load or bar colors. Similarly, the Indicators window provides access to add or remove indicators from the chart or change their properties. The Strategies menu allows for the management of automated NinjaScript strategies applied to the chart. The Properties menu contains a number of properties related to the chart itself. Charts can be moved left or right to view bars further back in time or into the future. To change the viewable range of a chart on the horizontal time axis, you can either click and hold the left mouse button in the chart background while moving the mouse left or right, use the horizontal scroll bar located near the bottom of the chart window, or press the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. When a chart is not scrolled to the most recent bar, a small left or right facing arrow will appear near the top right corner of the chart canvas. Clicking this arrow will return the chart to the most recent bar and reactivate the chart's auto-scrolling. To change the horizontal scale of a chart to show more or fewer bars in the viewable range, click and hold the left mouse button within the time axis while moving left or right. To change the viewable range of a chart on the vertical price axis, hold the control key on your keyboard, click and hold the left mouse button within the price axis, then move your mouse up or down. To change the vertical scale of a chart, repeat the same process without holding the control key. When a chart has been vertically scrolled or scaled, a small F icon will appear near the top right corner of the chart canvas, and clicking this icon will return the chart to its default position and scale on the price axis. To zoom in on a specific region of the chart canvas, first click the Zoom In icon on the chart toolbar. Next, click and drag to select a region on the chart, then release the mouse button. To zoom back out when you are finished, simply click the Zoom Out button. All charts feature a local or global crosshair, which can be used in place of a standard mouse cursor. When the crosshair is enabled, markers will be drawn in the X and Y axis to pinpoint the coordinates of the mouse cursor on the chart. To enable the local crosshair, Click the cursor icon in the chart toolbar, then select Local. This will switch the cursor to a crosshair applied to only that chart. Clicking Global instead will simultaneously apply a crosshair to all open charts, all of which move in tandem as you scroll around any charts with Global Crosshair enabled. The Global Crosshair can be especially useful when viewing two charts of different intervals for the same instrument 
as it can allow you to identify a specific point on one interval and immediately see where that point resides on a different interval. By default, the global crosshair will automatically scroll other charts left or right to ensure that the area in which the cursor is displayed is always visible in the chart canvas. To avoid this behavior, select Global Crosshair No Time Scroll from the Crosshair menu instead. The vertical line of a crosshair can be locked in place using a hotkey, which can be configured in the hotkeys window. Locking the vertical line allows you more precise control when pinpointing coordinates on the chart. When a crosshair is locked, the lock menu item will be checked in the crosshair menu. Once locked, the vertical line will remain pegged to a specific bar index and will shift position along with that bar index as new bars are painted on the chart. And pressing the designated hotkey once more will disable the lock. Thank you for viewing the overview of Navigating Charts.